Hello, my name is John, and this is the Mask Face Journal, and this is what I read this week. Let's start with Bad Girl Number Four, written by Hope Larson and art by Raphael Albuquerque. This book took a twist from the slightly interesting to the silly. You think you're getting a story about international espionage and information smuggling, and sure, that's there, but what it's used for and what the antagonists want with it is really pathetic. I'm not sure I should reveal what it is, it's not the big twist of the issue, it's revealed early on, but it is a spoiler in any case. Let's just say if this had been the plot of a cartoon like Kim Possible or Freakazoid, I would not have been surprised. I also don't really understand why these people in particular are doing what they're doing. There's a lack of connection between Ultimate Fighting Ninja Girls and this particular plan. Wonder Woman number 9, written by Greg Rucka and art by Liam Sharp. The pattern still holds. I still don't like the lies part of the alternating Wonder Woman stories nearly as much as the other one. I constantly feel like I'm missing something when I'm reading this. The ending to this issue, for example. I have no idea why what happens there happens, but it's presented to me as if I should understand it. Maybe there's something that is yet to be revealed that would change that for me. That seems to be the way this book is structured, hint towards something that won't be understandable to the readers until it comes up in the other half of the story set in the past later. There are some tiny threads that are beginning to twine into a rope here. We see who is controlling Sasha Bordeaux, but aside from being obviously villainous, it's not really clear what the villain wants and how Bordeaux has been compromised. Also, was she a sidekick to Batman in this universe? I really want to know that. The Flash, number 9, written by Joshua Williamson and art by George Corona. Despite getting confused about certain aspects of Iris West's family tree and some really convenient Speed Force truth serum crap, this issue really hypes me up. It's a little weird saying that because most of this is just talking. Talking about relevant and interesting things for sure, dealing with the two Wallies, but there's not really any action or villainous activity to speak of. That doesn't matter with the ending of this issue. That last page really hit the spot. I can't wait for the next story arc. Titans number four, written by Dan Abnett and art by Brett Booth. Welcome to another issue of Wally West and some other dudes. This kind of feels like it's set in the middle of Mark Wiig's flash run from the 90s, in all the best ways. I want to say that it's a shame that the other Titans aren't really that important to the story, but I really can't. There's not too much to say this far into the story. I'm really invested in it, I like the writing, I think the villain's plan is pretty good. If you like Wally West Flash, you probably like this. If you have little or no interest in Wally, this probably means very little to you. I think there has to be some prior history with these characters to really enjoy this. I think it does a decent job of explaining why you should care about these characters, but there's a lot more to it if you have 20 years worth of comics invested in them. Teen Titans number 1 by Benjamin Percy and John Boy Myers When it comes to Batman characters, Damien has never been one of my favorites. That makes the fact that I have very little negative to say about this book kinda odd considering he's the main focus of it. Don't get me wrong, I don't think there's anything groundbreaking and fantastic about this book, but I think the premise is interesting. The writing is good and the art is really good, even though it cheats and separates the characters from the background with an extra colored outline, but I digress. Overall, a pretty solid book. Detective Comics number 943, written by James Tinian IV and art by Alvaro Martinez. I'm not sure how to describe this issue without some spoilers. Although it mentions the events of Night of the Monster Men quite a bit, it's more of a sequel to the story arc before that. It deals with the fallout from the supposed death of Tim Drake. Stephanie Brown and Bruce especially have a hard time dealing with the trauma, and Kate, aka Batwoman, is trying to fix things. Meanwhile, there's a new threat in town, a group of people who feel that they have been victimized by the Batman and are ready to kill the police for working with him. I think this was decent. I think think that it is dealing with issues that it needs to deal with. But it also comes off as a strange story to do right after Night of the Monster Men, where Batman and his crew quite publicly saved the city, and now get all this backlash. Action Comics number 966, written by Dan Jurgens and art by Steven Segovia. I've got to be honest here, I didn't love this. I think this book is taking the easy, obvious route of having this Lois Lane permanently replace the dead Lois Lane at the Daily Planet and pretending that the Lois Lane they knew and loved isn't dead. Yeah, sure, slight spoiler, I guess, but it was telegraphed so loudly last issue, I can't 
bring myself to care. This issue is almost all exposition, letting the characters know what the readers already know. What I want to know is how the dead Lois knew about the other Lois. As far as I know, that has not been explained anywhere. There's also some stuff about some mysterious people that were introduced in earlier issues that I feel this book thinks I should know who they are, but I don't have a clue. There was this planet looking thing that kind of looks like Apocalypse, so I guess they could have something to do with the new gods. Summation, yay, Lois Lane story, and boo, it's kind of bad. I get that the book is trying to piece together the old status quo, but it's not really working. So that was what I read this week. Did you enjoy this video? Please like, comment and subscribe and share this video. If you didn't like it or disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. And that is it for me this week.